We've heard some people claim that the dividend is a dividend is a payment to Alaskans for their mineral rights. The governor recently said to the media, the PFD is your share of Alaska's mineral wealth. While our mineral wealth provides the funds for the permanent fund, giving us a share in that is not the purpose of the dividend. We've heard that it's a type of government program, that it should be weighed against every other program or even weighed at the very end after we've run out of other things to spend money on. I don't believe that's the way to approach it either. And in what I think is the worst character characterization of the dividend, we've heard it's an entitlement or handout that makes Alaskans dependent on government and purely greedy for larger and larger dividends. That description smears the fund and slanders Alaskans. So what is the dividend? Why do we have one? Why did our colleagues years ago stand in this room and think that the dividend was in the best interest of Alaskans? Let's go back to the best source, the late Governor Jay Hammond. When Governor Hammond wrote about why the dividend was created, he knew it served many purposes, but he was very clear about what he felt the goals were. He saw Alaska's mineral riches as a seductive threat, one that would provide short-term gains that would be hard to resist. Permission to read, Madam President? Permission granted. Thank you. I wanted to transform oil wells pumping oil for a finite period into money wells pumping money for infinity. It was apparent that unless we did so, politicians would spend every windfall to satisfy insatiable short-term needs and demands only to find themselves in a world of hurt when oil wealth declines. Such has been the experience of virtually every oil-rich state and nation. To continue, I wanted to encourage contributions into the investment account and to protect against its invasion by politicians by creating a militant ring of dividend recipients who would resist any such usage if it affected their dividend. Madam President, as you know, that approach has been effective. We have been hearing from Alaskans who are dividend recipients. They are our friends, our neighbors, and our constituents. Some waited for hours in the other body to testify in the House Finance Committee. Madam President, the permanent fund exists to protect our long-term future from our baser short-term impulses. But it is vulnerable, as it has always been vulnerable, to its only predator, us, we here in the legislative branch. Madam President, we've heard Alaskans characterize this as a corporation. And what would a corporation do? What would the board of directors do? Well, it certainly wouldn't cut a dividend. It certainly would want to increase shareholder participation, not decrease it. It would find what's not working within its organization and it would fix it. It wouldn't reduce the dividend. And our problem is much like that. It's a board of directors would realize that cutting the dividend is a sign of lower expectations for the state just when it needs to encourage high expectations of performance and efficiency. Madam President, today on this floor we have a chance to restore public trust that has been broken. I support a full dividend until the statute is changed. I'm here to say, and I join, um, I join with my colleague from District F and others, that trust matters. And we are dancing on a dangerous precipice by eroding that trust year after year. Madam President, our Constitution mandates that we shall manage our resource wealth for the people's maximum benefit. In regards to that, and I ask permission to read, Madam permission President. Permission granted. Governor Jay Hammond wrote, to me, that means all our people, not simply the fortunate or recipients of subsidized jobs or state services. Nothing, I said, better meets the mandate of our Constitution than our dividend program. If you dispute that, I challenge you to poll Alaskans and ask what state program provides them with greater benefits.